Hey folks, here I am back with uh, a new toy, basically. It's toys, but it's models, but it's toys. So I've referenced a few times um, in a few different videos Team Yankee as as a, a tabletop war game, um, you know, model based that we like to play, me and my sons. And they're, they're six and 11. And it's a fun game. It is a fun game. And, you know, what really attracted me to it is that we get to put together little model tanks. And, you know, I have a background in both the Army and the Air Force. And when I was in the Army, I served in a few different units. But one of them, most proudly, was the 1st Cavalry Division, which is a huge armored force. Um, so I love tanks. I love tanks. Uh, one of my favorite books is is red storm rising by tom clancy and then i discovered another novelization of a, a cold war mid 80s um you know world war three scenario called team yankee by harold coyle and somebody turned that that book into a game and that that whole thing um you know there it it's well here we have their their new 2020 um you know, complete starter set for that whole system. Just got my hands on it because it includes some some new vehicles that they they didn't have. The the cool thing is about playing the whole Team Yankee system is that it's not just Americans versus Soviets. They have the Brits, they have the West Germans, they have the East Germans, they have the Czechs, they have. And, but I mean, the system branches out. Like you have, they have a, a desert warfare version. You know, they have. Um, the like uh, Iran versus Iraq they have Israelis that can come into it they have I mean they, they just they have so much other stuff that can come into it um, and it's really cool and every army has its own rules and and little special you know abilities and all that stuff and it's and but it's a lot it is it's a lot simpler than playing 40k in terms of rules and stuff like that so playing with the boys is great they sell um you know the starter set of course but then they sell um you know like packages of you know a platoon of say a platoon of t-64s um a a force of you know an american company a soviet company you know things like that and and um anti-aircraft artillery they have aircraft it's it's really it's just you can expand and you know have a huge army you can have small platoon sized battles it's great so anyway i wanted to you know i, I recognize that on on folks that might watch my channel or or just people in general it's um a popular game but it's not as popular as something like warhammer so i figured why not just show the new thing so i i got the new starter set because because it, it features brand new vehicles that were not originally in the lineup for the the original game um like bradley's didn't exist you know american players were running around with uh m113s which are not at all the same thing in the same class as a Bradley. BMP-3s are brand new. T-80s are brand new. Um, they always had the parts to build an M1A1, but the rules, because it was 1985 when this, with the novelization and what it was, what it came out, were, the rules were only written for M1s and um, IPM1s and stuff like that. So the new pieces give give the game the ability to say, the what, you know, the war goes on you know, from like the one year of 1985. So this new starter set comes with, uh, as you can see here, four T-80Us, three T-64s, two BMP-2s for the Soviet side. And of course I like to play, in this case, Mother Russia, because I like tanks and numbers annihilate, the old motto of the Russian Armored Corps. Comes with three Abrams, which you can build any way you want two m60s which is an interesting thing but they you know they still would have had plenty of them in the inventory in 1985 and then two bradleys so which you can build as the uh older version or the uh you can build as m2s or m3s which is cool and you know my time was spent in an m3 bradley not an m2 bradley and there's a difference because one is a cavalry focus on it's a, a it's the exact same vehicle it's just how it's outfitted on the inside and, and the crew and stuff but anyway so you can build it as the original um or the modified later on of what most people know the bradley as with the the flat slab sided um um you know the provisions for 
putting on the extra armor on there even though you don't see him wearing that big bolt on you know blocky armor very often but anyway let's take a look at what comes in this big box um, now i should also say that uh, i think the company that puts this out is actually called battlefront and their models for a 1 100th scale model are really well done. I mean, they're really good. You can you could build, like, if you wanted to build a diorama of, like, a little tank battle somewhere, they're really good. The detail on these things is, is excellent. Um, and, I, you know, this is the first time I'm seeing the T-80s. But, you know, you are going to lose some detail because it's a 1 100th scale model. It's going to be small. But, in general, they're fun to put together. They're easy to put together. Um... But the detail on them is good. And now are these, these traditionally have been, um, these are going back to 2014. Are these plastic though? These have been resin, these commander figures for a long time. And these are not so detailed. I mean, like I said, these go back to 2014. But, so we get our four T-80 sprues, and you get your three T-64 sprues. I, uh, I can't wait to put these together though, but I mean, they're just, they're very, I mean, they're very simple to build. And, um, you know, I've showed off a, a T-64 before. I guess that's like kind of a sort of modeled in a Russian green versus a, a NATO green-ish sort of, you know, in case somebody doesn't want to paint. Um, but so two Bradleys and that gun is kind of monstrously huge for a Bradley, but uh, whatever. I mean, they're wargaming pieces and something's wrong here. Something doesn't look right on this. That doesn't look like the right shape. I, I, there should be like a cut down a little there for the driver's view. Should be like a, like a, like a little cut down on that side. But anyway, see, you got like, I mean, the little tiny lug nut details on the wheels. Pretty cool. And then the Abrams, so you have a 105 and a 120. You've got the the rear of the side skirts. You can build the A1 and on version or the original M1 version, which still had that ridiculous track guide that uh, for the, the sprocket that just caused mud and, and throwing tracks and everything. I got rid of that a long time ago. Um, and then you've got the the short baskets, the long baskets, um, and then the, the bustle rack and all sorts of stuff, you know. So you got your three of those. Ah, here are the resin. I think these are American. So you got, what, plastic Russians and then resin uh, U.S. commanders? Is that... Maybe it, because these are definitely resin. Yeah, and these look more like U.S. figures. Um, then you've got yeah, here's some more Russians. Okay, cool. Then you've got your M60s. Great engine deck detail on these. Uh, um, now, by the way, with all the, the tanks, now it comes with a little turret pin that you can put in. What we like to do is uh, they are built perfectly for a uh, one by five millimeter magnet to fit in there and in there. So we magnetize the turrets so that you can have like a very easily turret blown off in battle or something. Um, they still are fully rotatable 
they can come off so if like you want to transport them or something or whatever it's just fun to magnetize stuff nicely done i i haven't seen the um the m60s um close up this also lets you build by the way you can do u.s marines as well in the scope of this game um, and they have a marine sets specifically they also have lavs um you got red dice for the bad guys blue dice for the good guys and then the bmp threes which i have not seen before um i mean i've seen bmp3 before but i haven't seen them in this game and bmp3 is a big vehicle not bad interesting that it's done a different color than the rest of the russian stuff oh we lost a smoke launcher from a bmp we're gonna leave that in there now inside the box um i remember in the in the original starter set these things were in cardboard you could pop them out now they make you cut the box up but they have objectives um and tokens that you can cut out and use they have the same thing for the soviets over there uh in the original starter set they also had some not terrain it, it was flat cardboard but it, you know representing houses and hedgerows and stuff like that now there are no decals in here either which I had seen online. Um, how did this get in the bag? How did that magically just get in the bag? Uh, there, there's no decals either. They sell decal sets for each country. They used to include decal sets, but that's kind of weird. So here's a start guide, which kind of shows you the, the the stats and like the you know the cards for each uh, vehicle. And easy construction guides. Um, now there are actual books, just like 40K, um, you know, has the books for the codex for each specific army. They have one for each country that has the real, like, I mean, it has every vehicle available um, to the the each you know so like so the soviet book has every single vehicle available with all the full rules and and everything this is just the quick start guide to help you get playing with what's in this this box um we are now you know the next purchase is going to have to be the american big starter force and the soviet big starter force for me and the, the boys we already have a handful of models we, we didn't invest heavily in this game yet we wanted to make sure we enjoyed it first and we do but I think it's going to be, you know, fun to expand out, especially with the new models and new rules. And um, every box set you get comes with a copy of this rule book. Now, this is a, a new version. Of, you know, they, they updated it in 2019. This is like a bunch of rules for a bunch of stuff. Um, and this is the, basically the rule book for the whole game. Um, this doesn't have the specifics about each different uh, country. It has just general rules for playing the game and how everything works. But I love that they have real life pictures of actual models being played, you know, to illustrate everything. Um, and this is pretty cool. And then every time you, you get a set, you know, you get the actual stat cards that show you how to organize not only how to play the vehicle but you know if let me oh these things are like brand new stuck together so they give you the stats on the vehicles but then they give you the stats and the points for a, a section or a platoon or or how it works you know um in platoon then an armored combat team and what's involved in it um and so like we'll look at the t80 you know and then a tank company and the points as you as you go and and all all i mean you know you know how wargaming works i mean it has all sorts of stuff uh, but this is just again these are the basic cards for what comes in this box there are different ways to organize an entire army you know as any tabletop gamer knows and that's that's what the the codex for lack of a better word that's what the national books do um i mean and you can play games all the way up to a divisional or core size if you if you're like really into it and you have all of all of the pieces involved um and that's you know that would be really something you would need a lot of tabletop to do that 
because with some of these vehicles, you know, you have tactical movement speeds of up to 14 inches, you know, across. And that, uh, assuming that you don't have terrain and, and everything else to deal with in the way. Um, 14 inches across a table for each move is, is pretty big. Um, so yeah, there's just, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do in this game. And it is semi-realistic, whereas, you know, for the same amount of points, you'll get more Soviet vehicles. But... The American vehicles uh, might get two shots per turn, where the, the Soviets get one. Um, the armor on American vehicles uh, sometimes is better, or there's stabilization rules that apply here. So, uh, you know, it, it just it 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 goes with what would have really kind of how the how the the technology and the production and and all that really would have would have worked. In, in that that setting of you know 1985 1986 cold war all out war in europe um and it's just really cool um it's really cool so i'm gonna do a follow-on video and show you what some of these things look like built um a little later on because i don't want to i don't want to start the building without the boys because you know the boys build they they build their own vehicles ethan the little guy with a little bit more help um, than Aiden, the older one. Uh, but this is just, uh, you know, if if you are into tabletop gaming and you like the subject matter and you're looking for something that's, you know, a little less expensive than, than the 40K, that a little quicker to play, but a lot of fun, this is a great option. This is a really great option. And um, this starter set, 50 bucks, complete game in a box, um, with everything you need to get going. Comments, please, um, you know, fellow players, please chime in. Or if you're, you know, not familiar with the game and you got some questions, just go ahead, throw them in there too. Uh, Warhammer gamers, I, I have found, really do, you know, when I've introduced them to this, really do like this. Not to replace Warhammer, it is not a replacement for 40K at all. It's it's a totally different game. If you love collecting an army, it's a great, it's it's a fun thing. I mean, that's one of my favorite things about Warhammer is building and collecting an army, and this lets you do that. You know, sure, you could paint them historically accurate, but just like, just like in 40K, you could decide you're gonna paint these tanks however you want. So anyway, this is the World War III complete starter kit from Battlefront for Team Yankee. Awesome game. Highly suggest you look into it if you're not already familiar with it. Um, definitely worth the money. Definitely, it's definitely a good time. Good time and a really great way to introduce uh, younger folks into the tabletop gaming world too because a lot less complicated than some of the other games out there. Thanks for watching guys. Keep building your stuff out there. Keep building and building well and I'll be back with more stuff. We'll see.